Hi, I'm Vlad Tikhakov with Point Grey Research, and we're at the Vision Show in Boston. And I will be telling you about the demonstrations that we have here in our booth. So please come with me. Here we're showing our new Gazelle camera. The Gazelle is a camera link camera, which uses a novel sensor from Samosis. Samosis's um, sensor has come in two megapixel, running at 300 frames per second, as well as four megapixel running at 150 frames per second. This particular camera here is a four megapixel version of that sensor, running at 150 frames per second. The demo itself shows, uh, acquires images of the camera um, at the full frame rate and then replays it back in slow motion. So you can see all the gears moving around and the second uh, arm is moving slowly and so on. What's exciting about this particular sensor is that it's a CMOS sensor that has high resolution and high frame rate, but it's also global shutter, which is very useful in uh, machine vision applications. Here we have our full lineup of Fleet 2 and Fleet 3 cameras. And Fleet 2 and Fleet 3, Fleet 3, which is the new version, actually comes both in Firewire and Gigi interfaces. And the lineup offers um, sensors starting from uh, VGA at quarter inch all the way going to five megapixel at two-third inch uh, optical size. And what's new about the expanded lineup is that we have now three versions, VGA versions. One, which is a quarter inch, which runs at uh, 120 frames per second. One, which is a third inch, which runs at 80 frames per second. And final one, which is a half inch, which runs at 75 frames per second. So whatever your needs are, um, whether they're VGA or five megapixel, uh, you can find uh, this very small camera uh, using Sony CCDs uh, uh, in the Fleet 3. Uh, lineup of products. Here we are demonstrating uh, our fly capture software using two cameras. One camera is using the uh, FireWire interface and the other one is using the Gigi interface. Uh, they're both in the Grasshopper form factor and they're both uh, using five megapixel CCDs. And the point of this demonstration is to show that you can write applications which are using the same source code base and using two different interfaces. So going forward, um, all your source code written uh, for our FireWire cameras will be easily transferred uh, without even a need to recompile to uh, our Gigi uh, base cameras as well. So, that's a very basic uh, demo that shows that, you, uh, that you'll be able to use uh, your source code, whether it's Firewire or Geeky. Finally, we have a very unique demo here, which uses our stereo vision cameras and uses Cognix's 3D Locate software. And uh, this demo is very similar to a typical BIM picking application. Uh, where you have a bunch of parts in a, uh, on a pile and you need to determine uh, essentially where they are in three space and be able to pick up the part. So what we have here is we have two images coming out of, out of our stereo vision camera and the Cognix software locates the 2D location within the image of each part that it can identify. Then by matching and triangulation it is able to uh, find the actual 3D location of the parts and this uh, window here is showing a rendering of where the parts are uh, and we have a virtual camera panning around the rendering. Now what's interesting about this demo is that we have yellow hinges and we have white hinges. The yellow hinges are larger than white hinges and in the 2D view which is black and white there's no way to tell whether it's the larger or the smaller hinge. Now, once you've done the 3D extraction of the part, you can actually determine what, the, uh, what its three, lo three space location is, as well as what its size is, and therefore, when the hinge is um, rendered in the screen, you can actually put the correct color, even though in the 2D image, you don't know whether it's uh, yellow or white. So, with that, um, we can wrap up the tour of Point Grey's booth. Thank you very much.